Welcome back to Cruising America, everyone. Today we're visiting Red Canyon in southern Utah. We're Steve and Kathleen. We're Cruising America in our 35-foot fifth-wheel RV, chasing 70-degree weather year-round. If you'd like to watch our previous videos, please click the Cruising America playlist link in the description below this video. Otherwise, enjoy our current episode starting now. Red Canyon is your first treat of Utah's Scenic Byway 12. After turning off US Highway 89, yet another scenic byway of Utah descending through the Severe River Valley and heading east, you barely hit highway speed before entering Red Canyon and immediately slow down for the curves. You think you've seen Utah Red Rock Country, but when you enter this canyon and pass the entrance boulders, you're hit with an explosion of red hoodoos. The landscape change is so sudden and dramatic, you instinctively pull off into one of the turnouts and grab your camera. I think God made Red Rock Canyon to tease folks who aren't going to Bryce Canyon, just 10 miles east of Red Canyon. Of course, Bryce Canyon is the largest collection of hoodoos in the entire world. But Red Canyon has much to offer everyone, even if you eventually do go to Bryce Canyon. You see, the inhabited area of Bryce Canyon National Park is on the rim of the Ponsagut Plateau. Unless you drive east of the park on Highway 12 or hike the trails, you don't descend into the hoodoos. You only view them from above at lookouts. Add the fact Bryce Canyon is a high altitude park where everyone is subject to acute mountain sickness, it makes hiking down into the hoodoos a relatively risky proposition for many folks not in perfect health. Red Canyon to the rescue. Not only is Red Canyon at a safer, lower altitude, but the canyon is relatively shallow. This means far less elevation change. It is much easier to hike Red Canyon and walk among the hoodoos than Bryce Canyon. Here you are talking tens of feet in elevation change versus hundreds or thousands. And the trails among the hoodoos along the highway are much shorter too. Best of all, Red Canyon is free from the masses of tourists packing the lookouts and trails in Bryce. In Red Canyon you will be free to enjoy the beauty and wonder of the canyon in solitude. From Red Canyon, you can also access Lucy Canyon and Casto Canyon, both part of Dixie National Forest. These canyons are little known scenic gems you won't want to miss out on in your rush to visit the more famous Bryce Canyon. There are exciting horseback trail ride opportunities in this region too. Red Canyon is an attraction in its own right and has a visitor center and campground to support you. This area has been called the most photographed place in Utah. It's easy to see why, with the brilliant red soil contrasted with the green pines amid the spectacular red sandstone spires and formations. Other longer hiking, as well as mountain biking and ATV trails are available too. In addition, a paved, multi-use path runs from the bottom of Red Canyon 13 miles all the way to Bryce Point at the southern end of the main amphitheater of Bryce Canyon National Park. In other words, you could easily bike the multi-use path to Bryce Canyon from the Red Canyon campground, which is far less expensive than camping in Bryce Canyon City. 
staying in Red Canyon also puts you just 11 miles from Panguitch, Utah, the closest grocery store to Bryce Canyon, and only about 40 miles to Cedar Breaks National Monument. Thank you. 